Hi, I'm Starborn. Remember to be a star. You have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness because that's when stars shine brightest. And so if you've been looking at our website, starborninstitute.org, you would know that we are talking about some bright light because yesterday we had a new moon at 21 degrees of Aries. And that's why the title of the show is Regeneration Beginning Again. And that's because Aries is the sign of new beginnings and there were five planets there, five out of the 10. So half of all the planets in the heaven are only in one constellation, Aries. And the reason why I think that that can represent regeneration as if you can be beginning again is because Mars is a planet of regeneration, and that is because, yes, it rules Aries, but it also rules Scorpio, and Scorpio is the sign of regeneration, so we do have to keep that in mind. And the way I think the dynamic planets in Aries are going to affect us now is that we can be anticipating or on the verge of something new in our lives, but it can represent something that is not brand new. In other words, you could want to take your experience and you could want to use that for your future plans in a new way, but it would be something that you were already familiar with, or if it was in a relationship, or if you were moving to a new location, it might be something that you already know about, or that you visited, or if you're thinking of going back to school, you certainly would already have experience even being a student. So I think the idea of regeneration doesn't mean that you go back to the good old days. It means that you take your experience and your talent with you and try using them in a new way for your future. Why would that be? Because those five planets are so dynamic right now that we, all of us are going to be involved with future plans, and that's because Uranus rules the future. It's the planet of, uh, that rules Aquarius and things ahead of their time. But the sun and the moon were in Aries yesterday at 21 degrees. Uranus was there, and Venus, the planet of love, was there as well. Those are both of the love planets, and then that sturdy, dynamic, aggressive Mars was also in Aries as well. And so this is a time when a new beginning can certainly represent some sort of secret wish of yours, and a person or an event could suddenly touch something in your heart and soul, and a new urge to revive and live again could certainly be on your mind right now, and that would be wonderful. So that is why I think that we're not starting something brand new as if we'd never done it before. I think that we are recharging in our lives right now, and that can help us go in a new direction as well. And another reason why we can be thinking about beginning again is because those planets in Aries are so well supported right now by other planets around them. And so if you are thinking that you have to be the Lone Ranger and do everything all by yourself, that's not really true. You could have support. And that's because the Sun, Moon, Uranus, Venus, and Mars in Aries are being sextiled by Jupiter in Gemini, which does rule change and short journeys and short-term projects. And they are also being surrounded on the other side by Mercury, the planet of the mind, and Neptune in Pisces. And so among those signs, there are eight of the 10 planets, signifying soft support and loving support and opportunities for change that can help you make a new beginning right now. But it's a beginning where you are using some of your talents or it's taking everything that you know already and sort of applying it in a new way or for a future project. And so I don't think that you're going off blind. I think that what you're doing is that you're pretty well equipped for some new start in your life, but it will be built on the experience that you already have, which is wonderful. All right, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? Well, Aries, for you, 
What it simply means is that you are really going to be able to make a new start, Aries, and I think you might have to as well. And the reason why is that Pluto in Capricorn is being squared by all five of the planets in your sign. You are the one in the driver's seat, though, Aries, because there are five planets there, and your ruler is one of them, Mars. There's also quite a bit of light in your sign because the sun and the new moon were there yesterday. And so I would say, Aries, that you can rather aggressively want to begin again in some way. How could that happen? Well, for instance, you may decide that you're a little bit unhappy where you are and the budget could be cut. Somebody could say, well, there isn't enough funding to do something right now. And you may decide to take your talent and apply it in a position or a location that is familiar to you, but you can be using your talent to work on some future project and that would be a great idea. So I do think there can be a shift or a change in your life right now. It can be prompted by a lack of funds or it can simply be prompted by the fact that you're really uncomfortable where you are and you want to start off in a new direction and take all of your skills with you. So I wish you the best of luck. What does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, there certainly is a lot of activity in the background of your life, isn't there? And that is because yesterday's new moon and four other planets there, the Sun, Venus, your own ruler, Uranus, and Mars, were all in Aries right behind your sun sign. And Jupiter in Gemini is ahead of your sun sign. That means there's six planets right next door to you, to your sign, Taurus. And that means that you can be very greatly influenced by the activities that are occurring in the background of your life. And that can be prompting the temptation for you to change. Your sign hates change. All the fixed signs hate change. But I think that you are reading the handwriting on the wall right now, Taurus, and you are realizing that there does have to be some sort of change. What kind could it be for you? It may be that you are wanting to revive an old dream and make it come true in a new way. And at this time in your life, some new person new facet of your personality could be emerging and you could be very happy about that. So there can be a transition going on that you are ardently preparing for behind the scenes, Taurus, and I think that you definitely are going to be involved in it, and that's good. There is so much light in the background of your life right now, Taurus, that anyone can see what you're doing. And so that's fine because I don't think you're really trying to hide anything. It's just that you can be reluctant to make a change until you've got everything all lined up. But I think this is the time to make a change. So I wish you the best of luck. All right, what does it mean to a Gemini? Well, Gemini, this is certainly a time when you can take advantage of people who want to uh, regenerate or who want to start something new but use their current talent to do that with or their current experience and the reason you can take advantage of it is because the five planets in Aries are being sextiled by Jupiter in your sign which is wonderful and so with all of the focus on the sign of Aries because there are so many planets there you can be looking at someone else who really does want to get something off the ground, but they are very experienced. They know what they're doing. They have a passion and energy for what they want to do. And I think they're really going to succeed at that despite any obstacles or lack of funding. You may see the advantage of sort of piggybacking along with them or joining them in some way, even if it's not forever, Gemini, it could do you a lot of good. So I hope you're interested in joining with others right now. Even if they're not too sure of where it's all gonna end up, something new could be very exciting on your horizon, and I think it would do you a world of good because your sign rules change, and no one handles change better than you do, Gemini, so I hope you're looking for a change because it could do you a world of good and make quite a difference in your future. Okay, what does it mean to a Cancer? Well, Cancer, the, those planets in Aries yesterday, five of them all squared your sun. And Aries is a cardinal sign, and so is yours. And Libra and Capricorn are as well. And so the cardinal signs are going to be uh, 
rather harshly affected by that new moon in Aries. Not Aries, but the other cardinal signs will be, including yours, Cancer. And the reason why is that either somebody can be pushing themselves pretty hard right now to get off, to get something off the ground and get going, or they can be challenging you. They can be demanding change from you or demanding something new from you. And you could be thrown off balance by that cancer because I don't think that you want to go in the direction that someone else wants to go in. You could be pretty comfortable right where you are and their demands could be too strident for your gentle nature. But we all need to regenerate right now. We all need to think of how we can go into the future taking our gifts with us and using them in a new way for the benefit of ourselves and others. You may decide to sort of opt out of something right now, Cancer, because it's not your speed or it's not your style or it's working with people that you don't want to work with or maybe you're just not well enough prepared to join them in some new endeavor. And that, it won't hurt you to back out of something right now, Cancer, because Saturn in Scorpio is trining your sun, giving you financial stability behind the scenes and Mercury and Neptune in Pisces are also trining your sun. So you don't lose anything in the foundation of your life if you just want to sort of walk out and go and do your own thing instead. Not uh, something that would help you regenerate, but it may be that you are just wanting to stay where you are. And you could do that, but you might be missing out on something pretty great, Cancer. So I would, even if you don't make a change right now, or even if you're put off by the demands of others, I hope that you're still open to change in the future because I think you're going to be involved with it anyway, not with someone else's project, but you might have one of your own that's coming up this summer and you would be very happy with the change. Particularly if it occurred between this summer and next summer when there is a magical grand trine in uh, water signs to help you along. Okay, what does it mean to a Leo? Well, Leo, this is simply a time when I think that you absolutely got to say yes, Leo, because if we were playing a little game, a little game called red light, green light, it would be a green light for you. There's absolutely nothing stopping you. In fact, it's an absolute go for you, Leo, and that is because how could you resist? There are five planets in Aries, all trining your sun, and one of them was your ruler, the sun, which was lit by the new moon yesterday. And so, Leo, I see you surging forward right now. You're either joining someone else who's really bent on uh, going on their own way, or else it can be that you are, that people come to you with some new idea. And through your leadership and team building skills, something is able to get off the ground, despite the fact that there may not be enough money. So if you have been wanting to use your experience in a new way, in other words, something that you already know how to do really well, but you want to use it for a new purpose, this is your chance, Leo. It's going to be wonderful if you sort of step into something new. The question that you may have though is, is it going to pay off right away? No, it isn't going to pay off right away. But if you were turning a hobby into a business, in two years it would be very stable and it would probably pay off for the rest of your life. And it would be steady income, not riches, but steady income. It's just that it's going to take about two years to get there because Saturn is in Scorpio squaring your sun right now. However, it will move into Sagittarius in two years and trine your sun. And that's when the stability will come into your life from a new endeavor that you undertake now. So I wish you the best of luck, Leo. If you're patient, it's really going to pay off. Okay, what does it mean to a Virgo? Well, Virgo, you too can be interested in regenerating or in participating in somebody else's idea of a new start right now. But because yours is an analytical, practical sign, it simply means that you actually like to have everything planned and scheduled, and then you like to ask yourself if something can be done if more efficiently and in, in a more cost-effective way. So you are a person that doesn't have all the answers right now, but you're the one that's going to come up with them, Virgo, as you seek answers to problems other people haven't even thought about yet. After all, your sign does rule analysis. So while everyone else is filled 
full of enthusiasm, you can be the one that is trying to stick to the facts or is asking a lot of questions right now. And if you can't get the right answers, I know you'll keep digging, Virgo. But you may do it really quietly because I don't think that the spotlight is on you, but that doesn't mean you can't be actively involved using your expertise uh, and putting it to good use going in a new direction. It's just that I think you'd rather do your homework first. And this is the time to do that instead. Okay, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra, you could be really feeling some sort of estrangement right now. And the reason why is that those five planets in Aries are all opposing your peace-loving sun right now, Libra. And so I think there is the possibility that an estrangement can occur in your life because someone is going off in a new direction. They may have to. It might be that they have to go away in order to get a better education or to work on some project that will take them out of your sphere for a while. Or it can be that someone is so absolutely driven to do something their own way that you are finally realizing they are not partnership material. And so you may not regret a little parting of the ways right now, Libra. It might be all right with you. And in fact, there can be some easy transition or change for you right now, Libra, despite the fact that other people are can be a little bit selfish right now. And the reason why is that Jupiter is beautifully trining your sun in Gemini. And since it is trining your son and you're going to have a very good June it can be a time now well that you can be looking for temporary things that can lead to greater and greater transitions for you and you do already have a lot of experience you really are a wonderful partner Libra because that's what your sign rules so you know a lot about how to be a good partner so look to join up with others right now Libra and either they can support you or you can support them but I would say you need to get out and mix and mingle and don't worry about someone else doing something all their own way um, you can be happy without them Libra you really can okay what does it mean to a Scorpio well Scorpio this is simply a time when people can be supercharged and want to get something off the ground. It can certainly be something that can regenerate them. And it can. this idea of regeneration, I think, is on everyone's mind, including yours, Scorpio. But I think that you are, uh, since yours is a financial sign, you are also concerned about how to pay for everything. And you may not be certain that something new can be profitable or that it is worth investing in. And investment can mean more than money. It can also mean time devoted to something. And so you can be waiting and thinking that you just want to look something over a little bit more closely, or it can be that you're a little bit tired and you want to review things in your life right now since Saturn is retrograde in your sign. There are a lot of people that are giving you the straight truth about things in a real easy way right now because Mercury and Neptune in Pisces are in, in, are in Pisces and they're trining your sun as well. So this is sort of a time for you to recollect, to think about what responsibilities you really want to have in the future. Once you decide that, once you make a serious commitment to what your new future is going to look like, Scorpio, then by uh, July or by June when Saturn goes direct you will certainly be ready to take on additional responsibility you may even go back to some responsibility that you've had in the past but you will be using that skill for a future project and it will be profitable so take your time right now Scorpio you don't need to be in a hurry okay what does it mean to a Sagittarius well Sagittarius this is simply a time when it's a go for you too. Lucky you, Sagittarius. You could be going on a trip. You could be starting some new education. You could be regenerating by hoping to go back to something that you'd done before. And that also includes a lifestyle as well. You can't go all the way back. Nobody can right now, Sagittarius. So you just need to make sure that if you're going forward in your life, you are not taking any bad habits with you. 
because if you even wanted to get back into a former occupation, there can be people that can have said things that could be damaging to your reputation or perhaps your old lifestyle was a little damaging to your reputation. So you have to be a little careful where you walk, Sagittarius. But with all those planets and Aries trining your sun, I just know you're going to be starting something new. It's just that you have to be very careful to sort of really be at your very best right now. And if you are dedicated to doing your absolute best, then you're going to be a shiny star, Sagittarius. Good luck. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, a Capricorn, this is simply a time when you can be a little overwhelmed by the force and the energy and the enthusiasm that is generated by all five planets in Aries all of which are squaring your sun where you have Pluto. Since Mars in Aries is at home in the sign it rules, it's very dominant right now. But Mars and Pluto are the rulers of Scorpio, which rule of financing or money coming in from any other source. And there can be a lot of questions about that right now, and you're the one that can have the questions, Capricorn. That's because you can be feeling pressured on all sides by people who are adamant about wanting everything their own way, and you instead would sort of like to stick to the book or the rules and regulations, and you may feel as if there are a few enemies around right now. There can also be people that really like you, but they're just in a hurry. Remember, Venus and Uranus are in Aries, and they are the love planets. So your love life may not be really peaceful right now, and also you can be contending with people who can be jealous of you, Capricorn, or trying to push your buttons right now, and it can be irritating you a little bit. So I think that this new moon is quite challenging to you and can be somewhat overwhelming you right now. But because Pluto is in your sign, you do know the truth. You do know the right way to do things, Capricorn, and I think you're going to stick to them. But you may have to say no to a few people who do not share your same values. And this is the time to say no, Capricorn, and don't worry about it. It's better for you to live with honor than to live without it. Okay, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Well, Aquarius, this is a wonderful time for you because the five planets in Aries are sextiling your sun sign, which means there can be a lot of opportunity for people who are quite enthusiastic right now and passionate about regenerating or beginning again in a new way. In other words, they know what they're doing, they just want to do it in a newer way and take all of their experience to make it profitable. You can be very interested in joining up with them right now, Aquarius. You can be intrigued by new things. You certainly can be focused on your future and so if I were you I'd sort of go along for the ride with others right now and that is because you don't know where a new idea is going to lead but as long as you have confidence in the experience or the expertise of the people that want to get something new underway as long as you can see they have a really good track record I would join them Aquarius this is not really an experimental time this is a time when you can take your experience and extend it or expand it so you're not really truly starting over you're just going along and actually you you could be more successful in the future if you sort of turn around and look at that rather than at the past so I think you're going to do fine Aquarius because Jupiter and Gemini is trining your Sun as well okay what does it mean to a Pisces well, Pisces, this is a time when you can see something pretty stupendous right in front of you. And that's because right ahead of your sign, Pisces, are those five planets in Aries under yesterday's new moon. So the sun, the moon, Venus, and Uranus, the two love planets, and Mars are all in Aries. And that simply means there can be dynamic change right ahead of you. Something can even almost look as if it's about to burst or explode, or somebody can be just on the verge of something brand new. It doesn't mean it's happened already, though. Just because we had a new moon doesn't mean, you know, that everything falls into place. It means that all of us can be thinking about regenerating, but I think it's that we are focusing in more on our values and wanting to adapt our values and our experience to something new in our future. So we're not all reinventing the wheel, but we probably are trying, most people are trying to think of how to get 
uh, how to preserve their values in the future. And we are all realizing it's much more in our hands than in anybody else's. Aries rules the pioneer. And if anybody's got a pioneer spirit, it's an American. So this is a time when we can even um, join together and unite in our efforts to turn around and really preserve what we value and take it with us into a new world or into a new lifestyle or even into a new location. So you can be quite tempted to go along with that kind of thinking, Pisces, which is good. If I were you, I'd wait until summertime to really get your plans underway. And the reason why is that Saturn will go direct in Scorpio and there will be more financial possibilities or funding coming your way, Pisces, and that's what I think you need. Nobody has enough money to do everything right now, but if you can get a few other things done instead, and then this summer, go ahead and initiate your plans, and particularly if you've been saving a little bit of money, you would be much better prepared then, and that would make you happier. So we're all entering a period of time this summer when we can be settling down, but it might be in the future of our choice right now because after all we are all responsible for our destiny and as long as we are prepared to take our experience and our values forward with us then that future can turn out really well all right thanks so much for tuning in remember you can always see our show anytime you want on our website starborninstitute.org bye <music>